Let's take a look at the sound Brenner Core. Is this the perfect watch for musicians? What's going on, my friends? Chris Salim here from Mixdown Online. Yes, you heard me. I am going to talk about a watch. But it is a special watch, I have to say. It's made for musicians like you and me. I met with the people of Soundbrenner in Nashville at SummerNAM a year ago. And I was pretty much intrigued when I saw this uh, prototype. At that time, uh, the watch wasn't on the market yet, and it actually looked very cool. I had a chance to try the first model that they have, which is the Pulse watch, but this one is a step above the Pulse watch. So I'm gonna give you all the details in this video of what I think about this watch, if it's worth it or not, the pros, the cons, and so on. But first, thanks to Sound Brenner, we are giving away one Core Watch. So if you want to get a chance to win the Core Watch, click on the link in the description down below. Good luck to you. All right, so now let's look at what we get with the Core Watch by first looking at what's in the box. The packaging is very nice. Let's open this up. So this is what we get when we open the box. First, we have some documentation like the user manual and a bunch of other stuff. So we have all information needed to get started with the core watch. We have some earplugs included. I'm going to talk about that later on. Then we have the charging cable. Uh, also, I'm going to show you how that works. Then we have the magnetic tuner mount, which is very special. We also have the body strap and the silicone strap as well. And of course, we have the core watch strap rig. So this is basically what we get in the box. Now let's look at the watch itself. The reason why they called this watch the watch for all musicians, it's because you have some very cool features that are aimed to musicians, like the metronome, which is the main feature of this watch. Now, the way the metronome works is instead of producing sound, it produces light and vibrations to give you the tempo. So let me show you how that works. So let's look at the watch. Uh, on the side, we have two buttons. We have the top and lower button. I'm gonna click at the bottom one and uh, I'm going to click one more time and I'm going to get to the metronome or other features. If I want to access the other features, I just need to turn the watch to the left or the right and that will go from one feature to the other. Um, so we have, uh, just to go through those uh, briefly, we have the metronome, then the tuner. This is a actually a very cool one. We also have the dB meter, the timer, stopwatch, the settings, and so on. So let's start by looking at the metronome. So I'm going to select, I'm going to click again on the button, the bottom button to enter the parameters of the metronome. So as you can see, we have the BPM. If you want to change it, click again on the bottom button and that will uh, give you, uh, will allow you to uh, to choose and select the BPM that you want you can, just by turning the watch from uh, the top of the watch from left to right. So let's uh, bring this one to 120 BPM. If I click one more time, I'm going to get to uh, the time signature that I can change if I want to, and also the subdivision. I'm going to bring that to uh, a quarter of a note. If I click one more time after that, I'm going to get to the accent. So I can actually um, increase the the, uh, the intensity of the vibration uh, using the accent feature. So if I want the first to click uh, to have more intensity, this is where I'm going to be able to uh, tweak that up. Once I'm ready, the only thing that I need to do is to double tap on the top of the watch. There you go. If I double tap again, it's going to stop. Now we heard a sound that is not generated by the watch, okay? It is generated by my phone. That's because we have access to the Soundbrenner app. It's the phone app that connects via Bluetooth to uh, the straight 
on the watch, okay, which is very cool. So you can control your watch through the phone app. Okay, we're gonna take a look at that. So for now, I'm just gonna bring down the volume of my phone and do the same thing again. I'm gonna double tap on my, uh, my watch. And this is how I start the metronome. Uh, so now let's look at the app. So this is what I get with the free app that you can download even if you don't own a core watch. You can uh, still use uh, uh, the uh, Soundbrainer app and use the metronome straight from this phone app. And it's actually a very cool and good metronome uh, as a standalone application on your phone. It's available on Android and also on iOS. Uh, so, and now I am connected, as you can check, as you can see on top, I am connected to my, uh, my watch. And uh, if I go to the player, I'm gonna get into the metronome parameters. And this is where I can change the time signature. I can also change the uh, subdivisions. I'm gonna bring that back to a quarter of a note. Uh, my BPM is at one uh, is at 120 BPM. I'm gonna leave it as is. And then I'm if I click on play, it's gonna start the watch and also the audible click off the phone. Pretty, pretty cool. I can also tap straight from the app. Once again, very well done. And I can also tap from the watch itself. So if I double tap and I continue double tapping, it's gonna find the tempo that I just tapped. Very, very cool. Um, so this is what we get with the metronome. Now let's look at the tuner. To use the tuner, what I'm gonna need is this little magnetic mount that comes with the sound brainer core. So I'm gonna hook this up uh, straight on the back of my guitar and it's a, you know, it's a little magnet. So it's gonna stick straight into the back of uh, my guitar here. So what I'm gonna need to do is to remove the watch from the silicone strap. So I'm just gonna turn the watch to the, to the left just a bit. And there you go, that simple, it's gonna get off. If you wanna bring it back on, the only thing you need to do is to just bring the, uh, the watch over the strap and it's gonna connect right away just because of all the magnets that we have on that silicone strap. So I'm gonna remove this watch one more time and uh, let me bring my guitar right here up to the camera. The only thing I'm gonna need to do is to bring my watch and bring it close to that magnet and there you go, it's gonna stick right on the magnet. And I'm gonna open the, uh, the uh, tuner and start tuning. I am not a guitar player, I'm gonna tell you right now. But I'm able to tune a guitar, so I guess that's a good start. I have to say that it works very well, it's very precise. And you can use this on your bass, your acoustic or electric guitars and so on. So this is how you make it work with the core watch. Next, we have the dB meter. So let's test it out. I'm gonna bring the volume of my speakers way loud and we'll see how this, uh, uh, the dB meter will react. So what I have here is the average level at the bottom and also the max, the maximum level. And once I reach that maximum level, it's gonna let me know that I'm getting into the danger zone and that's why they included the earplugs, <laughs> which is actually pretty cool. So if you're you know, in a concert or something, which is not gonna be the case anytime soon with COVID, but when life is gonna come back to normal, you can actually use these plugs if you reach that maximum in the environment that you're in. So very useful. So that's why we have those little plugs included with the core, uh, the core watch. 
very nice. Then if we go uh, one more step, we have the timer, which is a regular uh, timer and also the stopwatch, also very useful. From that point, we can get to the settings straight from the watch. Now, the cool thing is that we have the smartphone notification. When connected to the app on your phone, um, if you receive a text or a calendar notification, all notifications that you're gonna receive from your phone are gonna be shown on your watch also. Um, it doesn't work for Android yet, but it's supposed to work with iOS. I cannot confirm it because I don't have an iPhone, but it's supposed to work if you're using an iPhone. But on Android, it's gonna come later this year. Uh, but to do so, uh, you need to go uh, straight to the settings. You click at the bottom one, you go and until you reach the smartphone, you click again and then you make sure that the option is on. And from that point, you're supposed to get your notifications. Now, the battery life on this watch will go up to three days. So that is very, very good. Uh, like on my side, it's always on. I wear it all the time and like it can last like, you know, three days or so. Um, if you're using the metronome straight up, I think it can go up to two and a half hours with the metronome playing nonstop. Uh, so this is very good battery life. If you want to charge it, it's going to take an hour and a half around an hour and a half to fully charge. Uh, the only thing you need is that charging cable and you hook this up to the side of the watch and there's some magnets that is gonna help you to connect the cable and then you just connect the other end uh, to your USB connector. And that's it, so very simple. Now, if you're not crazy about using the silicone strap when uh, working with the metronome, you also have those other straps where you can hook that up to your entire body if you want to, uh, which can be actually useful. I saw a lot of people working with the watch straight on their body. So you can do this with these straps if you want to. A very cool feature that also is, uh, uh, is available with uh, the, uh, the phone app, especially is the, um, the multiple core watch sync. So if you're playing in the band and all band members have a core watch or a pulse watch, which is the, I would say the uh, stripped down version of the core watch. It's actually the first metronome watch sound brainer released uh, years ago. Um, and you can get it at a cheaper price also. Uh, but you can connect core watches and um, pulse watches together via the sound brainer app. And this is very nice. So this way, uh, all the band members or everyone wearing this, the watch uh, can use the same metronome at the same time. So very practical. If you look at the metronome, we have these colors the watch will generate color also and all of those can be uh, can be customized straight from the phone app very practical also if you're using Ableton you can connect your watch and metronome straight in Ableton if you want to via the phone app also don't ask me how that works I don't have Ableton I couldn't tell but it can be done. Uh, now, if we're talking about the pros and the cons, and if this watch is made for all musicians, um, here is my take on it. I've been using the, um, the core watch for maybe a month or so. Um, I, I'm a drummer, so I use the metronome when rehearsing drums, um, when working on my drum pad and straight on the drum kit. And it actually works very well, I have to say. It's different than, you know, listening to a click, uh, but the vibration is very well done. And like for me, it works well. Now, is this, is this the kind of tool that I would use on a regular basis? I would say yes and no. Um, when rehearsing, when, uh, you know, practicing on the drum pad, perfect, very easy reach. I don't have any other watches, so I'm always wearing this one. So for me, it's gonna meet my needs. It's very practical. I'm jumping on my drum kit, start the click right away, and I'm good to go. It's fast, it's right there, always with me. That's what I like about using this watch. Um, now, if this is not your case, it's probably not gonna be as useful as it is for me. Uh, but I can see someone like a singer-songwriter who plays in front of audiences a lot, you know, 
which is probably not the case right now because we're still in the middle of COVID. But still, if you're performing live on the internet, let's say, or you know, when COVID is gonna be over, I hope soon, um, you know, that can be a good tool. If you wanna use the metronome without using an actual click in your headphones, that can be a very cool tool, especially the fact that you can use and create yourself a playlist through the phone app and uh, you can actually perform an entire evening using this as your main metronome if you want to. So that can be very useful for you. Um, so this is my take on it. Useful absolutely for all musicians that depends on your situation. Now, as far as the cons goes, to be honest with you, there is not a lot of cons. Um, I'm gonna say though that I was a bit disappointed that the, uh, the phone notification option is still not available for Android. I'm an Android guy. I don't use an iPhone and we're in August 2020 and this still doesn't work using Android. Um, so once this is gonna be resolved, hopefully in the next few months or so, this is going to be a very cool addition to this watch. I'm going to be very happy with that for sure. So for now, a con, and once that is resolved, it's definitely going to be a pro. Now, if we're talking about the price range for the core watch, the way I have it right now with this version, because I think there's the steel version also that is a bit more expensive, but I have the regular core version, and this one uh, goes at the 229 US dollars. Again, it might be a bit pricey for some, but if this type of watch is something that is gonna be a very good tool for you, it might be worth the investment. There you go, my friend. This is my take on the Soundbrenner Core Watch. If you want more info, I'm gonna leave all the links that you need down below. Let me know what you think, leave your comments and questions, share a like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. Until next time, take care and see you.